What's up, everybody? Uh, how's everybody doing? <laughs> um, update on me. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Hold on. There we go. Um, update on me. Uh, about a week ago. Um, sorry, I just had breakfast. <laughs> uh, about a week ago, I ended up hurting myself. Um, I was in the dairy and, uh, I got to my last step and right before my left foot hit the ground so I wasn't too high um, and um, I didn't see one of the hoses that was right there and I stepped on it and my ankle rolled this way so it rolled to the left and I went tumbling down so I went flat straight on my back I tried reaching for the 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 uh, uh, what do you call it again? The pipes that you hold on to? The handles or whatever. And I tried reaching for those and yeah, it, <laughs> it didn't work out. <laughs> uh, so I ended up falling flat on my back. And um, I ain't gonna lie, it sucked. You know, it uh, it hurt, you know, it hurt a lot. Um, I wasn't hurting too much from my back when I fell straight back forward. It was more uh, my ankle and... Uh, I guess when I reached for that, you know, when I tried to reach for it again, it had, I had pulled this left pec, you know, so it, it, it hurt too. Uh, not as bad as my ankle. I, I got up and I, I couldn't walk. I couldn't, I couldn't move. No one seen me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was bad. Um, I was in, in bad shape and, uh, I, you know, I just kept working through, uh, one of the, um, I, I had to finish up that dairy and <clears throat> I went to the other one. I was hobbling around and, um, once, uh, the dairyman's son, he had seen me and he's like, Hey man, like, are you all right? <laughs> I go, nah, dude, I just fell at, at this dairy and, uh, I'm not doing too good, man. And he was like, well, I'll help you out. I was all right. So he helped me out and uh thank god for that and you know so you know um once i wrapped that up i brought the tank back to the yard which is just down the street and um i unhooked it and you know, i was barely hobbling around i unhooked it and then i got back in the truck i don't know how i did that and when it was all said and done i took off my shoes and my socks and it, my ankle was the size of a softball. So I, I had called it in to my boss. And um, she said, you know, I sent her uh, pictures. She goes, oh, my God, do you need medical attention? You know, do you have to go to the doctor? I said, no, I got, I'm, I'm not in any pain. Um, I think because it's swelled up and all that stuff. And I just had taken some ibuprofen and um, or what do I have? Advil or something. And uh, she was like, well, "Are you sure?" And I said, "Yeah, I'm. I'm sure. I, I don't. I don't need to to go. If I do, I'll, I'll let you know um, tomorrow." So okay. Oh, that's my mom calling me. Sorry, mom, making a video. <laughs> um. So yeah, I I I tried to. I was like, you know what? Screw it. You know, um, because my employee, my fellow employee here, you know, she had got hurt too. Um, one of her legs or ankles or whatever and she toughed it out and i was like oh heck no i ain't gonna go to the doctor <laughs> i ain't gonna not stop working because they wanted me to they wanted to pull me off work the whole nine yards that would have been like another week maybe more of being off oh no nah, man i was like no i have to work i don't care it, it just have me drive around i don't need my left leg we don't drive you know stand uh, standard uh or manual <clears throat> truck so they're, they're automatic so it's like oh, i'll just drive <coughs> and um they're like okay well you just let us know all right cool <laughs> so uh i never called them i never complained i was just i just stood strong and uh so I, I can do this you know so i just kept going now like i the swelling is gone um i can move my toes a little bit but like when I move them, if I were to move them like my other foot, um, then it feels it, it feels like on my left side, which is that where I 
twisted it that's where it hurts so it doesn't hurt on my in the front back or on the right side which is the inside of my leg um but every time i try to do that to my toes it it, it hurts on that side so it has to be some type of ligaments or something. I don't know. But when I fell, I felt I felt it like like crack or pop or tear or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it hurt. It hurt a lot. <laughs> so um, yeah, I I uh, definitely gonna. Um, but I I I've, I've been I've been walking on it um, way more, you know, than I have been. The swelling's gone. I know it's getting better. So uh, yeah, thank you Jesus for that. Um, but I'm just like, I'm extremely grateful. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm okay. And they've been keeping me working, uh, but it's very minimum, you know, and it's like, man, just keep me driving. I could drive, you know, and I don't need to lose hours, but it's okay. It is what it is. But um, yeah, every day I'm getting better, but that's what's going on with me. That's why I haven't been vlogging because this sucks, man. <laughs> it sucks. And, you know, uh, having to hobble around and all that stuff so yeah, you know it sucks and even like i go to the creameries just let them know what's going on and and the receivers would help me out you know and so that was cool but um but yeah so today i'm just gonna i gotta go to a couple of different spots and then by the tonight <clears throat> i'll end up in um petaluma so i'll try to get some footage of me going down going up to petaluma so, uh, but yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Thank you guys. Well, I'm here. Just got to the creamery here, um, HP Hood in Sacramento, and there's another another driver right there. <laughs> um, yeah, so now I can just uh, relax, see what these guys want me to do. A lot of times, they, you know, we we don't know what doors to park in, and some there's a couple of receivers that are really good about that. And what they do is, as soon as they see that there's weight on the scale, they know that there's somebody there and they're coming. And when there is, uh, uh, there's three doors here. So when there is one available, they'll open up that door. And that's how they let you know, like, okay, come to this door. Or if these guys are pulling out, you know, they'll open up a door, okay, park behind them because you're going to go in there. And then there's some of the receivers, and let me tell you, man, oh my gosh. They don't, they're just, they're lazy, dude. Lazy, they overpaid in my opinion, and it's like, dude, you, you're crap, we you know you're garbage, and it, it sucks because it's like, you know, here you are trying to do whatever it is that you can and you know to get stuff done and all they do is get in your way it's like dude do your job dude i'm not here to do your job you know and uh it's like do your job let's go let's get this done you know i don't make you drive the truck so why should i do your job <laughs> you know so but yeah some of these guys are just lazy but there's a couple of them that are on top of it they're just on top of it but um but yeah so i'm here can't wait to get done and so I got to get my butt on the road uh, after here, take off to Turlock and go pick up a load of cream. Ching, ching. See these guys right here? They're actually stealing the wood from that train. There's some homeless people that live in that area and they're actually kicking off the wood. <laughs> California. Uh, you know what time it is. That's the little place that I go to. Let me tell you. It's in Turlock. Oh, so dang good. I'm here. I wouldn't have signed that prenup. I would still be having sex with him. Oh, sorry. Watching. I was never in that position. 
some chairs. Good show. All right, so I'm finally leaving uh, the creamery here. So finally getting out um, on my way to Petaluma, and uh, I will stay the night there for the night. And then that's it. I'll be done for the night. But anyway, um, yeah, those tacos were bomb. So good. I always make it to come here. Every time I come here, I always stop and get those tacos because they're life. Those tacos are life. You know, they'll change your life. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so I'll uh, see you guys later. Yeah, sorry I haven't uh, got major bags. <laughs> um, sorry I didn't close out this uh, this vlog. Uh, was it last night? But I got in kind of late, so um, you know, once I got to Clover, it was like, eh, it was probably about eleven, eleven o'clock, almost eleven ten, something like that, and. Uh, you know, I was like, man, just tired. Couldn't wait to get, drop that load, you know, take the paperwork to the receiver and all that stuff. And, uh, and, uh, just be done with my day. You know, it was a long day yesterday, but it's worth it, you know, cause, cause of the pay. But, um, um, one of the guys is right here. <laughs> um, but no, so, uh, legs getting better, you know, every day it's getting stronger. So still kind of like, I can't really move it too well. Um, I mean, it's, it's getting better, you know, uh, the swelling's gone. So it's getting better. It's getting there. Um, but, uh, yeah. So today, you know, I woke up at seven, uh, actually a little bit earlier than seven. And I had a, uh, um, I had breakfast with uh, my buddy Troy, and um, you know, we were talking last night. And he's he's like, yeah, man, I got the morning off, and I'm like, well, I'm gonna be in Petaluma. Like, you know, what's up, man? Let's go get some breakfast, you know. And he's like, I was just gonna say that. All right, cool. So that's what we did, and uh, and it was awesome, man. You know, we got to, you know, he paid. Shout out to my boy Troy, you know. I got you next time, buddy, even though you already got me once. But that's fine, you know. Um, uh, so, you know, I, I, it was it was awesome. I, I, You know, I think every man needs that male bonding time, you know, that 
men need to be around other men, you know, to to have that brotherhood, that bond. You know, you can't just be by yourself all the time. You know, I don't think, I don't think, um, you know, it's you, you can't last for long being by yourself. You know, I mean, I love being with my wife. I love, you know, being with my kids. But you know, once in a while, you gotta break away. <laughs> you gotta do like that male bonding thing you know and uh you know that's why like you know it just it, it i i it kind of like church you know i feel so much better when i come out of church you know when i at the end of church i always take the time you know and make the effort to talk to my my pastor and my pastor's wife and you know me and my wife were talking to them you know, and everybody's leaving, you know, but we stay, you know, we stay and, and I, I love speaking with them and just having good conversation before, you know, we leave the church. It just gives me some type of fulfillment. Well, that's how this is, you know, for me, just like the church and speaking with them gives me spiritual fulfillment. Well, this kind of does too, you know, that, that strong male bond, you know, and I guess that's why like, you know, for men and women that are in like the military and, uh, you know, you, you, you bond with these people, you know, you become brothers, you become sisters. And, and I think, you know, we need each other, you know, it's, it's crazy. I mean, it, it, it takes a strong person, a strong will to be alone, but eventually you need that, you know, I know I do. Um, I mean, I'm not speaking for everybody else, but I, I know I do. It makes me a stronger person, you know. Um, so, you know, kind of like when I was playing paintball and, we, you know, I went competition, we went far. And, um, you know, when you sp spill, I don't want to say the blood, but, you know, you spill the paint, you know, in the same mud type of thing, you form that brotherhood bond and, you know, we, we would get together afterwards and, you know, even to, to this day, like, you know, once in a while, you know, the guys would get together. I don't get to go, obviously, all the time, but they'll get together and kind of, you know, reunite. And, uh, you know, it's it's awesome, man. And you just reminisce and go through these stories and, you know, yeah, man, I remember when... <laughs> <laughs> you know, remember when we shot that guy's face off in this, <laughs> you, know, you know, things like that. And it's just, you know, it's all fun and games and it's just a crack up. But those kind of memories just last. They last in your head, you know. And uh, but, uh, you know, you always have a special place in your heart for the men at your side. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's how I see it. But uh, but um yeah, no, so it was it was nice, you know, good conversation with uh, my boy Troy. Um, you know, uh a lot of conversation that we had that, you know, it helps me out. You know, it helps me keep on pushing, keep doing, you know, I mean other than God, other than God. But it helps me keep on pushing, keep going, so, you know, that was pretty cool. Um but yeah, so I think uh I'm I've been kind of resting, so after I was done with my day, today um and uh just been kind of resting up i gotta take a 34 tomorrow I already burned through all my hours can't believe it man um so take a 34 so i have a day off tomorrow i don't have my drone and it's finally beautiful days man i can't believe i don't have my drone whatever uh the days will get better you know um but uh yeah i think i'm gonna go to round table i don't feel like cooking it. i don't have anything really i just have like one leftover piece of chicken um, and some mushrooms, and that's really it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go round table. And I'm going to treat myself to a small or medium pizza, whatever I feel like having. But, uh, yeah, no, it's awesome. <laughs> so anyway, but, yeah, I think I'll close out this vlog and now and, you know, just so I could get it uploaded. But, uh Thanks, everybody, for watching. Love you guys. Bye -bye.